Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are talking about how to reinforce hogs in your hog deployment at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Uh, this is going to be a pretty in-depth video, I'm going to look at quite a few replays at both Town Hall levels, and basically talk about how heavy you want to go initially, and then how you want to reinforce with your hogs uh, as they move through the base and kind of the reasoning behind all of that. Um, at Town Hall 10, a quick disclaimer, the Falcon is what is working most. So definitely look to use the Falcon. I have a video out on the Town Hall 10 Falcon attack strategy. But additionally, this is another um, attack strategy, the hog base attack, whether it's a queen charge or a kill squad. Um, it can crush some bases at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 as well. So taking a look at this first one, uh, the queen goes the wrong way, but the kill squad still gets some pretty good value. These attacks are coming from the one hive versus one hive genesis war. And the main, uh, this is actually kind of a weird attack because he splits his heels just because the base is so spread out. But the main rule is you want to reinforce only as much as you need to so the hogs stay within the width of one heal spell. So right there he dropped three more hogs uh, at the cannon to keep them within the heal spell down south. And at the top he drops in like the CC plus a few extra hogs and splits the heals. He heals uh, the group over the bomb tower there and the group over the other bomb tower up top and they actually meet up for this last heal spell. So this first attack is a bit of a, a weird one in that typically you don't split your hogs but if the kill squad does not clear out a clean path around the base that's the width of one heal spell, which is typically what you want to do. Um, sometimes you have to split your heals. The reason he could do it is because he didn't use a jump and had four heals, so he was able to kind of split them up and have the hogs meet up at the end here. But we'll take a look at some other examples, and the next few examples will be a little more uh, typical of what we see with hog deployment. Um, so moving down, the next one here, uh, another one of their attacks, then we'll move on to some of ours. This one was a nice hog attack as well, base not quite maxed, but that's not important, especially for the purposes of this video. I like these baby dragons. They uh, got the cannons taken out, which was some very good value there. I'm not sure what the balloon was for. Maybe there was a seeking air mine suspected in the area. Um, so he's going to funnel, create the, uh, create the funnel, and then send in the kill squad two golems, uh, bowlers, heroes, and a valk. Because the single infernos are on the opposite side of the base, um, able to go heavier with golems because they're not going to get targeted by that single inferno for a while. So here comes the kill squad. Um, we'll go ahead and just kind of go through the attack at times one speed here, and then we will um, focus on the hogs once they start being deployed here. So poison down on the CC troops, everything looking good as the troops push through towards the defensive queen here and then I think right here the hogs start from the bottom and typically like I said you want to go pretty heavy initially especially at Town Hall 10. The reason that you save hogs is to reinforce and prevent the hogs from running out of the width of a heal spell. So one hog on the mortar keeps them all together and here's the reinforcement uh, maybe even a tad late because the, the yeah a little earlier would have been better but by doing this, he's pushing the hogs uh, deeper into the base. Does have to split a little bit, but the heal spell covers most of the hogs there, and they can continue to push through the base, and he has one more heal where needed. But um, like I said, general rule at Town Hall 10, you basically when you're planning out the attack and you're thinking, all right, how many hogs do I deploy initially and how many do I save, you look at the hog pathing based on what your kill squad will probably get, and um, you look at where you're going to need to reinforce in order to prevent the hogs from going outside the width of a heal spell. And when I say the width of a heal spell, um, there might be a defense on the outside where the heal can't cover the inner defenses and that exterior defense. And when that's the case, you want to reinforce with uh, two, three, four hogs, depending on how what type of defense it is, enough to kind of push through it and have a few hogs left over. You reinforce there, and then just look at each location where that's true, and subtract that from the total number of hogs you have, and then that number will be the number you can deploy initially, um, saving the remaining hogs for reinforcement. Um, so we have a third Town Hall 10 example before we move on to Town Hall 9 here. I think this is also a great example. Not a lot of hogs, but I think still has, with the CC, around 22 total hogs. Um, so starts off the queen, 
for the queen charge here. And then she's going to uh, walk down and I think enter the base around the the king, maybe in that kind of zigzag compartment there. A nice baby dragon on the cannon. Has to use the ability. Um, one thing in terms of, you might wonder, when do I deploy these reinforcement hogs? Um, the idea is that you drop the heel on the hogs inside the base, and as soon as those exterior defenses that you're going to reinforce on top of begin targeting one of the hogs that's being healed, that's when you drop in these additional hogs to support, because that way the defenses are targeting the hogs that are under heal, which they probably won't be able to take down, and the hogs that are under heal, these reinforcement hogs, they basically don't get targeted because the defenses will never switch, they'll be stuck on one of the hogs that's being healed. Um, hope that that makes sense uh, for you guys. So pushes through, still has the queen with her healers when everything is kind of said and done here with the kill squad, and then comes in, two finger deployment, um, making sure that he is basically going to encompass this entire group within the heel, saves three hogs, what are they for? They're for that cannon to prevent the hogs from meandering too much. Um, technically, he could still cover everything with a heel, but the reinforcement is also to keep the, um, the time frame short. You don't want to have your hogs running all around to different defenses. If you can keep them almost like balloons pushing through the base and avoid them having to go to the outside to take out an exterior defense, even if it still can be covered by the heel, still you should you should reinforce with hogs. Um, but don't reinforce just for the sake of reinforcing because if you don't send in enough hogs initially, it's going to the more hogs you send in, the less you'll lose because there's enough of them that they can overwhelm the base. Whereas if you only send in like half your hogs initially and you save way too many to reinforce, then you're going to lose a lot of those initial hogs and it's just going to all fall apart. So the idea is you want to go as heavy as you can initially, especially at Town Hall 10, and then only reinforce where you need to, where the um, it's going to keep the pathing succinct and quick through the base and you're going to prevent your hogs from running to the outside um, out of the heal spell. Also people at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 both like to put um, giant bombs with like mortars and teslas on the outside of the base and it's nice to use like three or four hogs to neutralize that. Uh, that way you don't have to allocate a heal over that area. So if you can reinforce on places where you suspect or know there's the Teslas uh, with giant bombs or mortars, whatever, like the outside defenses with the giant bombs. Um, you'll lose those hogs probably once they hit the giant bomb, but as long as they can clear out the area, the main group can continue through and you can use the heal over the, um, the inner defenses, which is what you ideally want to be healing over, not like two defenses on the outside of the base just because there's a giant bomb there. So now moving on, to, I think we have like two Town Hall 9 attacks here. Um, the first one by Jocelyn. Um, queen walk into a kill squad, and then we'll uh, pay attention once again to how the hogs are deployed. I think um, the next these two are good Town Hall 9 examples to show. Um, so the queen will get healed back up as she comes around the corner, and then pretty good funneling. The jump spells down. Everything has nowhere to go but into the base. Rage for the kill squad, and just going to push through here. I actually, I think this was one of my favorite attacks from this war. The deployment was just great all around on the kill squad and on the hogs. Um, I'm, I can't quite remember what I liked about it so much, but I guess I'll find out as the attack goes on here. Um, so Poison kind of gets those Lava Pups, and here comes the hogs. Um, at Town Hall 9, you can kind of be a little more cheeky with how you deploy them, a little more sparse at the beginning. Um, but look at two groups for each Tesla. Notice how when a heal spell is not going to be effective, that's when you want to split up and take out these defenses as soon as possible. And then you have the heal over the more clustered defenses where you can get more value for the heal spell. Because there's no value in healing over like one or two defenses. The value comes from healing over um, a big group of defenses. Would have liked to see a few hogs maybe saved for that archer tower, but they split okay, wasn't a big deal anyway. Um, so very nice attack. But like I said, you saw initially there was like a double cannon, two Teslas way on the outside. He um, did a nice job splitting up all the hogs, and that way coming in heavy at each individual defense, so didn't need to use a heal on any of them, and had them all meet up for the heal spell. 
So sometimes, especially at Town Hall 9, um, you'll have these weird locations on the base which are intentional by the uh, defender to, to screw up your hog pathing and your heal spells. There'll be like these weird um, areas where there's like a random defense just sticking out. And that's where you want to try to over overwhelm that defense with like three, four, five hogs. And then do that for each of those de outer defenses and have them meet up for the heal spell. So you can almost think of it as you're healing over the um, the main clustered defenses on the inside, which pretty much every base has. And you're reinforcing uh, to try to overwhelm exterior defenses that you don't want to have to heal over. Um, a lot of it comes down to where you want to drop your heals for the hog deployment. Um, this actually, this was the attack that I really liked. Um, the last one was still good, but this is actually the one I was thinking of when I said that I had a favorite attack from this last war. Uh, this was my favorite Town Hall 9 attack here. Um, works out nicely. Suicides the Queen because there's a Lava Hound in the CC. This is probably a cleanup attack. Um, and then has the bowlers, the king, everything moving into the core here. And then spreads out these hogs over the defenses here. Notice how a heal can't cover um, the entire 3 by 2 So comes in with like a wave. And once they begin to meet up here, that's when he's going to heal them. Uh, nice heal over the expo because there's a giant bomb right on the other side. And then look at these reinforced hogs. Because he wants to keep them pushing through the base, the mortar was a bit of a... Uh, out of the way for those hogs to come all the way to 6 o'clock. So nice and uh, early on those hogs that we're reinforcing takes out the mortar, keeps the hogs pushing through, and then a nice uh, heal spell for the, uh, the last little bit of this base. And then a poison as well for the skellies. So that will do it for this attack pretty much, and that'll do it for the video, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the main point of this video was just using the reinforcement hogs no more than you need to, especially at Town Hall 10, just using them to overwhelm these exterior defenses and prevent the main group from having to go to the outside, out of the way from the interior defenses, uh, which allows you to continue to heal the inside group and just use those exterior ones. You might lose a few of them, but to support um, and to push your hogs through the base. One final point I made I want to emphasize is drop those reinforcement hogs once the um, main group is being healed and the defenses are targeting those healed hogs. That way the hogs that you slip in that aren't under heal will be tanked by the hogs that are under heal because they probably won't be dying while they're under the heal spell and all the defenses will be focused on them and the hogs that you reinforce with will be free to not be targeted. So that will do it. Let me know if you have any questions or anything to add in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.